Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 19th to the 25th of April. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So, Sagittarius, I'm going to look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Your challenge for this week, Sagittarius, is the Nine of Swords. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay. So your challenge this week has a lot to do with some sort of fear and anxiety that you're feeling. Okay. Um, could be you, could be your person. We're going to clarify and we're going to see what this means for you. In the recent past, you have the Seven of Cups, you have the Four of Pentacles, and you have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like in the past, there was um, a situation here that there was a lot of opportunities, there was a lot of confusion about a situation here. Even though you were confused about it, Sagittarius, and you weren't really sure what was going to happen, um, you still decided to hold on to the situation. You still decided to hold on to this idea of things working out between you and this person in the past, okay? In the present moment, you have the Ace of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Wheel of Fortune. There's definitely an opportunity here that is being offered to you in the present moment. It could be with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, it's there. There's a lot of changes that are happening, whether you see these changes or not. There's a lot of clarity that's going to come for you in the present moment, okay? We're going to see what this clarity is when we clarify. In the near future, you have the Eight of Cups, the Emperor, and the High Priestess. I feel like in the near future, you're going to be walking away um, from one situation, moving to a different situation, which is going to fulfill you a lot more than the situation that you may have found yourself in. I feel like around the full moon, which is more close towards the end of the month, um, full moon's going to be in Scorpio. So there could be something really significant here that is coming in for you. Intuitively, you feel like this is happening. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring you a lot more stability in your life um, in the near future okay what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck you have the seven of wands in reverse you have the six of wands in reverse you have the strength in reverse you have the five of swords in reverse and you have the king of cups in reverse a lot of you are letting something go completely um you're letting something go here completely but also you have to keep in mind sagittarius that there could be um, an opportunity to achieve something great. Be careful because some of you in the past, what I'm getting here is, is you were pushing something away that was actually really good for you, okay? And what you don't see coming is you start to realize what it was that you were pushing away um, and why maybe there was a missed opportunity or why something here didn't be something here didn't become accomplished or won't become accomplished until you become open to it and a lot of you are becoming open to the situation seven of wands this is what you don't see coming your attitude your attitude towards a specific thing is going to change and that's what's going to help you recognize why a specific opportunity or situation didn't pan out the way that you wanted it to okay so let's do some clarification um sagittarius and let's see what's going on for you So the Nine of Swords, which is your challenge for this week, is clarified by the World, the Three of Swords, and the King of Swords. A lot of you, um, 
I feel like someone here who has a lot of anxiety in regards to you, again, this could be you or your person. Some of you have like air very heavily in your chart. Maybe you have Aquarius or you have like a rising Libra or there's something here about um, air energy that's really strong. Someone here is putting an end to some sort of painful situation, okay? A lot of anxiety and fear could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini that you're dealing with. Could also be... Um, a Leo, Taurus I'm getting, or Scorpio. Um, I'm really getting that someone here is choosing to put an end to something that they don't completely understand because all it's doing is it's just creating a lot of anxiety and fear and pain for them and they don't want to be in this place anymore. They don't want to be in this place of unknowns, not knowing where things are going and still remaining and being in pain. Some of you are dealing with like a Libra, maybe a rising Libra, um, rising Aquarius energy I'm getting here. So I feel like the challenge for you this week is recognizing something here that is coming to an end um, completely. I mean, like the cycle is closing out. And the reason why it's closing out is because there's no point of, of, of worrying and stressing over something that really isn't bringing a return. It's not really... You know, if we worry and fear over something, there better be a good reason, okay? And this reason isn't good enough. That's why the world is here, okay? So this is your challenge, recognizing something here that isn't serving you anymore, okay? All right, so let's talk about the past and let's clarify the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the High Priestess. Someone here in the past, um, they really brought a lot of confusion to you, okay? And what this confusion um, created for many of you in the past, I feel like this was your person. Even though your person wanted to work on things with you, there was something here about trust. There was a trust issues in the past. Someone's intuition was saying, look, someone here has too much going on. They have too many options. There's too much going on. I don't know where I stand in this situation. What's really happening, okay? Um, there was just a lot of confusion here. It was like one... One day, you know, you'd work on things with this person and everything was fine. And then the next day it was like, yeah, but my intuition's telling me otherwise. My intuition's telling me like, maybe I can't trust this person. Maybe I can't trust this situation. So there was a lot of like wishy-washy here in the past. Let me clarify the four of pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands and we have the King of Wands. It's interesting because Sagittarius, I feel like in the past someone was holding on to you, okay? Um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here, and this person wanted long-term with you. It was very clear and evident. They made it known. They're like, yeah, you know, I want to work on this. I want to build this with you. You know, the Three of Pentacles is people working together to build something bigger than just themselves. I think a lot of you in the past were resistant towards this person, whether you know this or not. There was a reason why you were pushing this person away. You could have been doing this subconsciously, but nonetheless, you were... Um, um, pushing this person away or you were acting resistant in some sort of fashion and this is why maybe this person was very on and off with you or there was a lack of consistency from this person's end okay in the past but I do see that this person wanted to work and build a real solid connection with you in the past okay so in the present moment I'm going to clarify the queen of pentacles some of you are dealing with um, an earth sign Capricorn Virgo Taurus here So the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Hierophant, the Chariot, and the Eight of Wands. Wow. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with in the present moment, I see them communicating with you. I see them talking about moving forward in this marriage, in this commitment. Um, this is somebody who's been thinking. They've been in their head about you nonstop. Queen of Pentacles, like, hmm, you know, what should I do with this opportunity? Should I give this opportunity to Sagittarius? Is this the one for me? Um, they've been thinking a lot and I see them communicating. You know, you're going to receive some sort of message, maybe a text message or something like that, where this person messages you because things are changing drastically for you. 
by the end of April, closer to the end of April, a lot of you are going to be seeing these changes. It's going to be hitting your 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 moon sign, your sun sign, or your rising, whatever wherever Sagittarius falls. Maybe you have Venus in Sagittarius, but there's major significant changes Sagittarius that's coming in for you. We're going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune and we're going to see what these changes are that are coming in for you. So the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Someone here is choosing, okay? Someone here is choosing to become very closed off to you in the present moment. And this is what's changing, okay? This is what's changing. So if you've been wondering, why is this person closed off to me? Why is this person not open to the, my love? Like, what's going on? This person is focused on their financial situation, nine of pentacles. This is what they're busy doing, okay? They're busy making that money. They're busy, um, you know, saving, you know, the, the golden goose for a rainy day kind of thing, right? And what's changing here is this person's behavior towards you. So if they have been closed off to you, I see you getting truth and clarity in terms of why this has happened. Tell me more about this truth and clarity that's coming in for Sagittarius. So the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yes. Once you receive this truth and clarity, which is going to come in for you, you are going to be ready to move into a new direction. You're going to be like a spring chicken, ready to go. Okay. Um, things are changing in the present moment for you. They're not going to stay the same. Communication is coming in. And... I believe that there's an opportunity here with the Wheel of Fortune that's also coming in for you, okay? So what happens in the near future for you, Sagittarius? We have the Eight of Cups. What is this Eight of Cups all about? Eight of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Tower, and the Two of Wands. If you've been in separation from someone, okay, for quite some time, I see that changing because there's something here about not being able to be in separation from you any longer, okay? A brand new beginning is happening. What I'm seeing here for many of you, Sagittarius, you're embarking on something, you're leaving something behind in the near future, and you're moving towards something that's more fulfilling. Once you move towards a situation that's more fulfilling, and you finally make a decision, some of you have already made this decision, some of you are in the process of making this decision, everything is going to change. Nothing is going to be the same for you. Because one, there's a new beginning that's happening for you. Two, there's a major change with the tower here. And three, with the two of wands here, it's like the separation or if it's not a separation for some of you, it is a separation that's going to be coming to an end in the near future because someone's choosing to walk away from one thing that's not fulfilling them to what really is going to fulfill them. If that's not your story, I'm getting two stories here with the two of wands. There is something here about you embarking on a new journey and you're choosing a path. You have two you have two very significant paths that you can take in your life in the near future. And a lot of you are now deciding after this major tower that has happened in your life what direction you need to take and you're going to be moving towards something better here is what this is telling me and this situation intuitively you know that it's going to be better for you because you have the high priestess here and you have the emperor so whatever decision you make make sure that it's going to lead to this your stability because this is what is leading you to this place of anxiety and fear because you lack stability but once you make this decision to completely leave something behind a hundred percent that's when the stability that you want is going to come in because what you don't see coming seven of wands in reverse you're no longer resistant to this change you were resistant to some sort of change that really could have brought you a major victory and some of you lost an opportunity in the past because either you were overthinking the situation or you didn't see the value within the situation in the past and you didn't endure through something. And this is what caused some sort of missed opportunity. Not this time. This time you're like, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. So what is the advice here for you? Let's see.
The advice here for you is the temperance. We have the, um, the artist card. And we have the Knight of Swords. Some of you are artists, okay? If you're an artist, your advice is to focus on your art because there could be something really profitable here. Um, you have the Temperance and the Artist card. So a lot of you are artists or you do something with your hands that could really benefit you. Knight of Swords is also t um, telling me the advice here is this, be prepared for some sort of news that comes in. It's news that comes in from someone who is gonna help you achieve something here, okay? Some sort of balance in your life. Um, it's news, it's information, it's a specific person that can help you achieve something great here. A lot of you are artists, you need to be focusing on your art, okay? So this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.